Protesters staged rallies against President Trump. The protest meant to coincide with President's Day. Christian Garzon reports on one of the demonstrations locally in Brighton and tells us why they were protesting. The president declared a national emergency for what he says are, quote, an invasion of drugs and criminals coming into our country. But for those in Brighton today protesting the president's moves, some say this means taking a stand for the Constitution and to keep the president's power in check. It's a response to the unilateral and very unconstitutional grab of power by uh, Mr. Trump, who has chosen to go outside the... Uh, 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 the structure of our Constitution to seize money. People are talking about a crisis uh, at the border, but it's uh, all throughout the country, and the name of it is Trump. For Kurt Smith, who worked as a speechwriter for George H.W. Bush, he has seen his shares of policies and political moves over the years that attract objections. According to him, Trump's declaration is legal. Well, there's no question that it's an emergency. An invasion is when you break the law of the United States, trespass upon its sovereignty, cross its borders illegally, and therefore break the Constitution of the United States. Smith says this declaration and the wall are needed. What Donald Trump has done uh, exactly what I would hope he would do, um, because the United States as he says, uh, without borders is not a nation. But for one woman who immigrated to the U.S. from England, she says this is not the same nation she came to decades ago, especially the past two years. What I thought America always stood for was being sheltering, welcoming, supporting, and we are going the opposite direction. About 80 people were expected to show up. We counted about 50. No doubt the weather played a role in that. But a decent turnout for Brighton's 12 corners either way. Adam, Maureen. All right, Christian, thank you.